Hi everyone, this is me, I'm Arifter, and I'm a medicine surgery student at University of Messina. Recently, I also joined uh, Future Men's Academy as an educational advisor plus physics faculty. So in this video, we're going to talk about what is IMAT and who can take the examination and where the examination actually takes place and what are the syllabus you need to cover for the IMAT, IMAT examination. So before diving in this video, if you didn't subscribe to the channel yet, you can subscribe to the channel now to get more future updates regarding medicine surgery in Italy. So let's discuss what is IMAT. So IMAT is an international medical admission test, which is an important examination if you want to get enrolled in Italian medical schools. The exam comprises of 60 questions and each question has 1.5 positive mark and every normal answer gives you negative 0.4 marks. And the answer you don't attend, of course it is null. The, where the exam takes place? The IMAT examination takes place all around the globe. So you can take exam in South Africa, you can even take exam in India, New Delhi, or you can take exam in Labor in Pakistan or the centers which I have studied in the video. Now, what are the sections of IMAT? So as I told you before, IMAT has 60 questions and they check all of your capabilities including problem solving, logical reasoning, scientific topics, whether it is physics, chemistry, biology or mathematics. So in this 60 question, the first section is of logical reasoning and general knowledge where you will be asking, they will be asking you four questions. So there are two questions will be of logical reasoning and the side two other two questions will be of general knowledge. We will discuss about the entire exact syllabus, what they ask in logical reasoning and what they ask in general knowledge in the later in the video. Or maybe I will make another video for that. Then we have another five questions from problem solving. And you remember the uh, mathematical application topics which we were used to ask in early high school ages about uh, uh, calculate the area of this lawn or calculate the area of this uh, garden and if uh, uh, or maybe they can ask you about the percentage and ratios in proportion applications which are used in day to daily daily life. Then uh, third section is of biology which is uh, which comprises 23 questions it is the it is the largest section of IMAT and and in 2023 the biology section was very tough but it very very for that biology level was a little bit uh, easier you can say because uh, the thing is what happened in 2023 uh, the examination was uh, there was a major uh, fluctuation between the bodies who were conducting the examination before and now so before the examination was conducted by Cambridge and but now the examination is conducted by MUR which is Italian University Research Center so that is the reason they have made the paper level e easier, but we can't expect what is going to happen in under 25. So we advise students who are preparing for under 25 to study uh, all the syllabus in details and also use the past papers from 2011 to 2024, and it will help them a lot. Then we have chemistry questions that which has 15 questions and in chemistry uh, this 2024 examination was uh, al al almost moderate uh, but before that in 2023 it was uh, a little bit hard but uh, the thing is uh, chemistry always remained the same for the entire past 12 13 years of IMAT history and the syllabus of our chemistry is like they can ask you more concepts or they can ask you physical chemistry organic chemistry and organic chemistry uh, the most favorite topic for them is conjure numbers and also periodic table and they can ask you questions from but coal and bonding and all this things so uh, we advise students to make this uh, uh, areas very solid so that they can overcome the challenges during the examination and they don't face any kind of issues Later on, they have, we have uh, physics and mathematics at, at the end, which has 13 questions, and they are usually divided into 50-50 person, like almost like six questions and seven questions. And physics and mathematics are quite uh, high school level questions. They will ask you about uh, the topics from current electricity or maybe from uh, capacitance or even from thermodynamics, a little bit of fluid dynamics too. So we need to be careful about the curriculum and what is asked in IMAT examination. So I will be attaching the link of the video of IMAT syllabus, which where you can go and check the particular syllabus of IMAT examination so that you can prepare accordingly. And then we have mathematics section. Mathematics section deals with algebra, basic geometry. We have polynomials, little bit of quadratic equation, and you can, they can even ask probability sometimes. So not sometimes, but usually they ask probability and some students are weak in it, but some students are really strong in it. For me, I was a little bit... Uh, uh, in between of them, so I was not able to make my probability questions correct in my AMT examination when I did it. 
logical reasoning questions are usually asked in paragraphs where they will be asking you about the conclusion or the applications or the flaws so it depends on the on your uh, reading skills and how you tackle this kind of questions so uh, i would advise you not to read a lot of books or there are a lot of books online present to they will tell you that it, it will be helpful for you to understand logical reasoning and how to deal with the applications and flaws and different kind of things but what I advise from what I have learned from my past experience that we, if we uh, solve previous year questions, there are a lot of questions online present for logical reasoning and problem solving, even from Cambridge and even from different um, bodies. So you can practice it online and you can learn a lot of new things while practicing the exam. About the general knowledge, so the vast syllabus and we, what, what I believe that there are certain topics which I might have picked up and they usually add the questions from there. So you can learn about the philosophers, authors, Nobel Prizes, and even about the United Nations, European Union, and the current affairs. So one of the most important topics which I might usually choose a question is from the uh, United Nations and European Union. So, um, but in 2024, the examination and the general knowledge are, are only two questions, but before that, we were having almost 12 to 40 questions of general knowledge until 2022. So that was one of the factors deciding whether the student is getting into med school. What are the changes in IMA 2025 and what are my tips that you should learn? So, what I have learned and what I have seen in IMA 2024, the most of the students who got into medical school were those students who were good in physics and mathematics. Because the level of biology and chemistry was a little bit easier, for chemistry it was moderate. Those students who performed very good in physics and mathematics and also in logical reasoning and problem solving were able to grab the medical seat. So if you are planning to come to HLE and start preparing for annual examination, so I will advise you to focus more on physics and mathematics because this are the fa uh, this are this will be the two important factors which will decide whether you are cracking the annual examination and getting into your dream university in Italy. Next question, which is usually most common for among the students, when and how I can apply for IMAT examination. So the thing is, you can apply online on university website and. For example, in 2024, the exam happened in 17th September and the registration started on 2nd September. So there was a very short, a very short kind gap between the registration and the examination. So what I believe the examination registration will start uh, in the month of um, August or maybe or June or something like that. So you need to keep an eye on it and be updated about these things because uh, it can vary from year to year. Okay. So in Italy. In Italy, we have 17 universities which are offering medicine and surgery program. And even we have some universities which are offering dentistry. So, for example, University of Siena and University of Roma La Sapienza offers dentistry programs. But those students who are interested to study dentistry can also take the same examination I'm at and get enrolled into the, their dream dental school, which is only two technically for now for English programs. But we are expecting that we will be having some more uh, universities in future. And in Ahmed 2024, we got two new universities. The first university, University of Catania, which is in Sicily, and the other university is University of Cagliari, uh, which is in the island of Sardinia. So uh, we are expecting some more universities to join Ahmed 2025 for English program. There are a lot of universities in Italy which offers a medicine surgery so program in Italian language, and I think there are more than 40 to 50 universities which offer this program. But for now, we have only 17 universities. We are expecting that we can have some more universities in the future. Now we can discuss more about the test centers. As I told you before, the exam test center happens all around the world. I will also list the test centers here and you can check uh, where you can take exam examination, which is convenient for your uh, so easy, easy to travel. You don't have to take visa and a lot of things because a lot of students even don't get uh, visa on time because of that. They, they, they are not able to take examination and they postpone it for later ne next year. And now, what is the cost of IMAT? So I cost of IMAT is around 126 euros to 135 euros. So it depends uh, every year. It can change, and but it remains constant from past five, six years. So what I believe it's gonna it's gonna be like almost 130 euros. So and yeah, you can register it online on your university website. So thank you so much for watching me. And if you have any questions, you can write me on Instagram. My Instagram ID is mentioned in the descriptive box. And for those students who are from India, if you have any kind of questions regarding visa, scholarship and different kind of things, you can always email me on my email address, which is also mentioned in the descriptive box. So have a beautiful journey of Iman and I wish the best of luck for you guys. Ciao.